We'll end the week with the story of determination and creativity. The story of an artist whose career should have come to an end when she became paralysed from the neck down. But it didn't because of some incredible technology to explain. Here's Nick Thatcher. Sarah Ezekiel is painting a picture using just her eyes. Motor neurone disease may have robbed her of any movement from the neck down, but she refuses to let her illness steal her talent as an artist. At her home in Hendon, using the same technology, she explained to me how she paints and how it's given her a new lease of life. There is an infrared bar picking up my eye movement, so I do everything by just looking at my screen. It's amazing. I wouldn't be able to paint with any other assistive technology. I feel much more content and fulfilled now. Artists will always create. Her artwork is generating interest from across the world, selling in Europe, America and Australia. And Sarah has used the money she's raised to buy the same technology for someone else living with motor neurone disease. There is no funding available for this equipment and it can make a real difference. Life and death even. Sarah says her diagnosis when she was seven months pregnant with her second child left her in a state of total shock and despair. But the technology operated by her eyes allows her to be more independent in her own home and gives her access to the wider world. So while Sarah is able to use her computer to speak, she can also operate her home around her, access her curtains, her television control, her front door. Uh, as well as that, she has access to the internet, so she can get onto Facebook, onto Twitter, onto things like Patients Like Me, where she can talk to other people with similar conditions to hers. Uh, so, so it's so much more than just a, a direct access method to her immediate surroundings. And social media is not just opening up her world again, it's inspiring others as to what can be achieved. Next Tuesday, her artwork goes on display at the Bloomsbury Theatre, and Sarah says she hopes those who come to see it will leave with one simple message. That anything is possible despite illness, disability or just general problems in life. Nick Thatcher, London Tonight, Hendon.